It's Friday, January 15, 2020. This is episode 10 plus 3 of the Corporate Cowboys podcast. I'm your host, Alex, yours truly, the intern. I was just thinking about uh, learned behavior. You know, I, I got to do this little, this little input. I got to put in my input. You know, I have to um, vent a little bit. The Corporate Cowboys podcast is produced and published by me and is a... Uh, a project, a self-improvement, professional improvement. It's a professional improvement project. It's an initiative that I proposed and I, uh, I was able to get started. And now I'm going to keep it going because otherwise my initiative fails. <laughs> The goal is to become a better spokesperson, to become a better orator, I suppose, to be able to speak better in public, not be public shy. I'll probably always be camera shy, but not be public shy when I'm relating to the public, when I'm relating to individuals, groups of people, crowds, even if I have to, to be able and assert myself and my ideas to be able to promote them, to be able to present them and defend them when it comes time to. So, in, and in doing so, again, I, this is going to be a recurring theme of why I'm putting this out there, why it is that it is important for me to do so, and why it's a uh, it's a form of uh, assistance to others. It's a cathartic, it's a cathartic experience. I'm doing this in order to relay some sense of catharsis. Catharsis is when you need to release some form of energy, some form of emotion on a level that you can relate to and in a passionate manner. Let me see here. Definition of cathartic. Providing psychological relief through the open expression of strong emotions causing catharsis. So I was pretty close. I was pretty close. And a lot of these words I never... A lot of what you might consider $5 words, fuck it, $2 words, because those are the words that, that are hardly used, and $2 bills you hardly ever fucking see. Most of the $2 words I do know, and I, yeah, they don't have to be $5. Again, $5 words, $10 words, $100 words are like of a different caliber that you have to be a technical expert in a field to know and understand, kind of like what the name of the actual ridges on a screw are called. Like, they have a fucking technical name. I, I can't think of it now, but that's what my mind gravitated to. And I know that each, each ridge, each crest and valley of, of a screw thread has a name. It has a fucking name. Go look it up. Go Google it. I'm not going to do it for you now, but it definitely does. And you might qualify those as $10 words or what the, what the lining, what the inner lining of the threshold to, to the, one of the arteries in the heart, to like one of the arteries leading into a ventricle, what just the threshold, what the flesh of the threshold is called. Like there's a specific name, kind of like, <laughs> kind of like how your your fucking taint has a name. Like that skin has a different fucking name than what's under your armpit, than what's on the back of your neck. Yeah. 
So I'm providing, I'm providing this form of, I'm providing this outlet. What is it? I'm providing this expression. I'm providing this cathartic expression in an effort to help myself first and foremost, because this serves, has therapeutic value to me. It serves as therapy and has a therapeutic aesthetic. It's pleasing. It's pleasing to me to be able to just talk to myself, whether I'm standing in front of a painting or I'm standing in front of a mirror in a blank office, if I'm speaking to a conference room full of silent people who may or may not be nodding their head or shaking their head in agreement or disagreement. That's all it is. Why? Because if I can do it now, I can do it anywhere. I've got to be ready and willing. Ready and willing. When life is do or die, just being prepared, preparedness, doesn't mean that you're ready and willing. And I see that a whole lot outside of the office. Folks saying that they're prepping, that they're getting prepared, that they're stocking food, that they're that they're stocking supplies, arms and munitions. It's cute. It's cute because it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You keep going down that road and sooner or later you're going to bump into a fucking bridge that you have to cross. <laughs> you're going to bump into that fucking bridge you're looking for. That bridge you have supplies to build. And when it comes time to, you're going to have to build that fucking bridge. You're going <laughs> to... My bad. I phrased that incorrectly. See? I, and this is what's going to help me uh, edify, rectify my logic, my logic and my tact. You're going to have these supplies because you will be so prepared and you'll come to a body of water. You'll come to not a causeway. Yeah, you'll come to a body of water. It is a body of water because I, I don't know why I'm thinking bodies of water are just lakes and oceans. That's not true. Bodies of water are also streams. I mean, water is all one body until you until you break it apart and and what? You put it in a glass, into a cup, into a bottle. <laughs> but I suppose even then, inside of a cup, it's still a cup of water. Inside of the cup is a body of water. I believe Bruce Lee had some elaborate pontification on that where you must be like water my friend the water when you pour it into a glass it takes the form of a glass when you pour it into a pot it takes the form of the pot be like water my friend so yeah water is a body in, in itself even a droplet of water is a body i get it i get it I was talking about stocking and being prepared. This notion of preparedness folks are seeking to attain in having excessive reserves of supplies. Sooner or later, they're going to come across uh, in, on their path, on their path to ascension. <laughs> on their path to ascension. They're going to need to transcend preparedness. And build that fucking bridge across a body of water. Are they ready? Are they willing? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. That's all learned behavior, though. That's all learned behavior. And in a sense, learning can't, learned behavior can entrap you into a cycle that is qualifiably insanity could be qualified could be classified as qualifiable insanity could be classified as insanity insanity i got to pronounce i got to have to enunciate so my bad 
just stepping back. I have to enunciate. I have to pronounce my words correctly and fully so that they're full-bodied words regardless of whatever fucking accent I have. In doing so, I can work on my speech, the pattern of it, the intonation, its cadence, and like I've said before, be able to hustle, be able to hustle standing still, just with a mouthpiece. That's, man, if y'all ever seen a real hustler do that, that's power, that's magic, that that's something special. That's some <laughs> that's some corporate cowboy shit. Learned behavior though can definitely lead you down a path of repetitiveness, of insanity, of doing something until you break or until you are broken. I feel like prepping, the notion of prepping does that to a lot of folks. But life isn't about life and is about life is not about preparing. Life is about doing or dying. You have to be ready. You have to be willing. You have to be ready and willing at any time, at any fucking time with anything you have. I know for some this comes easier than others. Maybe they've been put in a situation or they've learned through experience, trauma-based learning, or some other wholesome method for learning, but being able to pick an item and adapt it to whatever situation you are in and be able to use it effectively is what it means to be ready and willing. Because you can go into a situation prepared as you might be and confront circumstances that don't call for any of the fucking resources that you have. So you could have, I don't know, barrels, buckets, boxes full of food, arms and munitions... And you walk into a conference room that doesn't require that at the moment. As such, what I'm doing is sharpening my people skills, sharpening my social skills, my verbal skills, my logic skills, my ability to rationalize. Because that ability to rationalize can break down a lot of doors. Logic can crack a lot of safes. And tact can get you into areas that you previously would not have been able to if you don't work on them, if you don't learn them. And that means you have to be ready and willing. You have to be in, you have to be ready and willing to learn. You you can't you can't just sit back and and rely on the learned behavior you have now. You have to continue learning. Folks who through learned behavior have taken a back seat in life and choose not to pick up another book, choose not to pick up another pencil choose to actively choose to isolate themselves, become an island, yet still believe they have these resources that they're prepared. They want to be an island, but still have, I don't know what's a valuable resource, gold, still have oil or have fresh water. What the fuck good use is it? If, if you aren't the one using it, if you aren't the one using it in real time, learning what you can do with it, 
if you aren't the one using it. And yeah, I do mean, I do actually mean those folks who have those reserves. If you aren't actively bartering and trading with it, forming a network, forming a community, you're, you're, you're paving the way. You're paving the path. You are paving the road to those days, to those end of days where you'll have to build a bridge and you'll have nothing but those reserves. And even then, will you be ready and willing? (laughs) Ah, shit. We have it so... We have it so good right now. We have it so beautiful right now. I understand that there are people who do not, but we have it so fucking good right now. And yet, we're just shitting on opportunity out of self-interest. We're... And I do say we, I, as much as I'd like to say I'm not, as much as I would love to say that I'm not, I'm saying we, the royal we. We're, we're always shitting on it. That's why we need associates. We need associates in places that we are not, which means literally somebody else that you aren't. You need friends, I guess. If, I'm, if I have to be square, you need friends. I call them associates. You call them friends. I, I can be your friend. You can treat this podcast as like a conversation where I do all the talking and I give a fuck what you think. <laughs> of course, you can comment. You can write if, uh, if you want to. P.O. Box 3372 Rancho Cordova, California. Nine five seven four two. Address it to Alex at Incorporating Associates. I'm like the friend you will never have. I'm and, and yeah, that is literal because there's only one of me, right? There's only one Alex. There's only one. One who will forever be your intern. <laughs> but we're, I mean, we're all entry level forever, right? But I will be Alex, the intern, only. And there's only one of me. So if you want to count me as your associate, feel free. Feel free. Any of the experiences that I relay through here, and then you use them in conversation. Obviously, you don't want to take them as your own, but you want to say, I have an associate or I have a friend who did this. I have an associate who knows an associate. I know somebody who knows somebody. <laughs> I'm that guy. I'm them. I can be them. And I know plenty of others. I myself like to think that I'm building a network, even if it's, de- again, decentralized It doesn't have to be tight-knit. They just know me when they see me and they know what I'm about. If I need a favor, I got folks I can go to for a favor. It's a favor for a favor when you're a mob figure. I forget who said that. Might have been a rapper. It's a favor for a favor when you're a a favorite. (laughs) That's nice. That's a nice one. It's a little more square. But this learned behavior shit, man, this learned behavior shit will kill you if you don't keep learning. If you don't, if you don't, <clears throat> what's the term? If you don't allow yourself to continue learning, if you get stuck in learned behavior, that learned behavior gives you away. It's a pattern. Humans aren't supposed to be patterned. Well, again, this is personal opinion and it could be conjecture, but humans should not be patterned. Humans should not be routinized. I understand we have a life cycle, but that shit is only one. It's only one life cycle. Where in that is there a pattern? (laughs) Anyways, I'm, I'm getting off track. That's a huge tangent, more esoteric than it needs to be. One fucking cycle, and yet even in the word cycle, it means it happens again. But not with you, dog. It happens with other people. That's why it's a cycle. It's something you can observe. 
something you can experience, you can track, but you'll never do that again. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. Mm. Back on topic. This learned behavior shit will get you killed. If folks know how if folks are able to learn how you tick on the job, you're fucking dead in the water. Or if it's a type of behavior that you use in order to create that stability, folks can come to you in confidence and know that you'll get the job done because they've learned through your productivity, through your reputation, by what they've seen then learned behavior becomes the ends. I, I wanted to say dead end, but I don't want to scare you. The life end. Ooh, even scarier, even, even more ominous. Life end, not a dead end. Ooh, it's a live end. Life or live? Live, because if it's dead, dead and live, alive? A dead end? A live start? Life start? I'll come up on that one later. I'll come I'll come up on that one on my own apparently because that one's pretty deep. A dead end. Dead or alive, right? Because those are opposites. Dead or alive. And then end beginning a live beginning hmm. this learn behavior shit man this learn behavior shit when you can't snap out of it i i mean i get it some folks do have <clears throat> really ingrained behaviors that are difficult to break and sometimes they end up breaking before their behaviors can be fixed, before their behaviors can be improved, not fixed, right? Might be a problem to some, but if it's not a problem to you, you're still alive, you're still kicking. But we can improve your behavior. That's all. If you're still alive, if you're still kicking, you can be improved. I'm not saying you can be fixed because then you have to ask, how are people broken? The only time people break is when they fucking break <laughs> from reality. It's when they fucking break from this plane. And by that, I mean off themselves. They commit suicide. They're fucking broken. That shit you cannot fix. <laughs> but humans and themselves can only be improved or... Improved or corrupted. Yeah, there you go. Those are opposites. That shit came full circle. That came full circle and fast. I have to find a way to not have it close in on me so quickly. Because I was just talking about improvement and my mind went straight to innovation. And they came to corruption. But I don't want to talk about corruption in this one. Seems a little, seems a little um, tight for the weekend. It's Friday after all. I want to keep it lively. I want you to think that you can improve because if you think you can improve, you're improving. You're, you're breaking your learned behavior to keep you the same. You're breaking your learned behavior to commit to a pattern. So I'm doing work. I'm cracking your fucking safe. I'm, I'm cracking your safe remotely, mind you, with without any intention, any ill intent, any ill will towards you. And by telling you you can improve and you considering I can improve, quote unquote, you're improving. Learn behavior, be damned. Plenty of folks, though, believe that learned behavior is like, um, it's like having a gavel. It's like having a hammer. It's like having a heavy right hand. They think it's the end all be all. You tell me how many empires exist today that still have that mentality. 
and America, the U.S. I don't know if if it's actively trying, and by the U.S. I now I mean the government because obviously the country, the people, don't don't perceive themselves to be that way. They just want to be left alone, they're, they're, but they want to build together, which is idealistic if you tell me. But the way, but the way the government works, you see, the way my government is set up, <laughs> the way my government is set up, they want to rule. They want the power. And so they want to, they want to commit to learn behaviors. And that shit is dangerous. That shit is dangerous, man. Forget, forget what they have coming down the pipeline, this 5G, AI, Internet of Things bullshit. It's based on learned behaviors. And that shit is going to get people killed. They won't admit it. They don't want to admit it because humans, especially those with authority, those with perceived power, mind you, not real power, perceived power, they think they got something going on, but really they got dick. (laughs) They think they have something going on, but really they got jack. They think they have something going on, but really they got hairy Bob and John. (laughs) They think they got something going on. But they have nothing. They have nothing. All they have is a learned behavior. And the ability to leech. (laughs) All they have is a learned behavior. And the ability to corrupt. Typically. Okay? Typically. There are still good people... Who want to work in government in order to look out for their constituency, those folks that got them in office, those folks that maybe they made promises to for the greater good, for a better country, to improve civic life, to improve to improve society, to improve civilization. I get it. I get it. But noble people like that, people of honor, they're, they're few. They're few. And sadly, they're not far in between. They tend to, to clump together. And then they get stricken easily. I've seen that shit work. But I don't, I'm not here to depress you. I'm not here to depress you. I'm telling you to decentralize. Just be somebody who knows somebody who knows other people. That's all. That's all. Doesn't mean you have to always stick together. You have to be ready. You have to be willing. I am. I'm a corporate fucking cowboy. If I have to get to a bridge with whatever fucking supplies, if I have to if I have, if I have to cross a body of water with whatever fucking supplies I have, I'm ready and willing. I'm ready and willing. I'll build whatever bridge I need to, build whatever raft if I can't, swim across if I must. I'm a fucking savage. I'm savage as fuck. I'm ready and I'm willing. Land of the free, home of the brave. And by home, that's wherever you lay your head, wherever, it could be on the road, it could be in a in a single place that you call your own. I don't know why we're so I don't know why we're so stuck to the homeland, man. I don't know why we're so stuck to the homeland. What we should be doing is is breaking this learned behavior. And there's so many already who are growing up being little young travelers they're going out there and and they think that because they saw another country I don't know who makes them more educated but again maybe they're still fucking around with one or two dollar words I don't know I do know don't say I don't know
they need to come back to reality. Folks need to come back to reality and understand that everybody is a corporate cowboy. If you aren't doing your part, if you aren't pulling your weight, you're going to get knocked the fuck out. And I don't mean physically, though it could be physically. Really, I mean spiritually, socially, economically. You don't move to improve. You stick to a learned behavior. Your learned behavior is going to get old quick. Ask anybody who gives a fuck. (laughs) Ask anybody who gives a real shit. Who gives a real fuck. Ask anyone. Anyone. Anybody. Ask anyone who cares. How much learned behavior is worth to them. It's worth a dick. It isn't worth anything. Why? Because a learned behavior is old. It's old news. It's not serving it's not serving you and it's not serving whoever you employ it on to improve. It's not serving to improve. It's not serving to innovate. It's serving to stagnate, to go stale to fester, to corrupt. It's all learned behavior shit, man. And I'm not even going into the behaviors, mind you. I'm, this is this is the tip of the iceberg. It goes deeper and deeper. What kind of learned behaviors am I talking about? Oh, really? What kind of learned behaviors am I talking about? Go to school one day. Go to work one day. Step outside. Find out where people really come from. Find out what learned behaviors are. You might conflate them with stereotypes, with mannerisms, with attitudes, dispositions, attributes, characteristics. Shit is all learned behavior. It's all learned behavior. Even even in judging and discriminating them and identifying them that's a learned behavior obviously obviously that shit will get me killed will get me killed one day why because it's a pattern it definitely is a pattern that i use but my end i believe is very justified my end i believe is justified it doesn't have to be very i don't know why i have to qualify you don't have to qualify a justification. It either is or it isn't. It's either right or it's wrong. It's either black or it's white. Until it's not. The pattern I'm working with, really it's just to do good. It's just to improve. When I go out and I patternize on people, I'm looking to identify those that are either operating under learned behavior and I seek to improve them, obviously, because I can't fix anyone. I can only counsel them, consult them, and help them improve. I can't tie them up by their hands, by their arms and their legs, wrists and ankles, and work them like a fucking marionette like a puppet on strings, I can't do that. They're their own people. So either I help them improve or I move to corrupt them. But again, I'm only helping them improve. Corruption is another topic, one that I happen to be avoiding because it's another episode. Today's sponsor is uh, not corporate, obviously. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm just thinking in my head now what I should use because most of these have been a joke. Most of the, most of these have been little jokes and whatnot. And then 
an opportunity to promote the social media accounts where you can find these uh, these installments to the Corporate Cowboys podcast powered by Incorporating Associates and methods and methods with which you can donate and support um, help me because yes, while this is my initiative, my project and the money coming to me uh, and, and the money coming in is going to me necessarily, what I'm putting it forward, what I'm putting it into, what I'm doing to improve myself with, what I'm doing with it to improve myself. There you go. What I'm doing with it to improve myself is tackle legal fees because I'll have a bunch of those. And it doesn't mean that, <clears throat> it doesn't mean that uh, it'll all be for not, it'll all be for waste. That's not what it means at all. It means I'm going to set the organization up and then myself within the organization. Peep game. Peep game. I'm not looking to set myself up. I'm looking to set the organization up legally and then set myself up. I've said this, I don't know how many, I don't know how many times, but it's going to be countless if this project is going to continue. Again, recurring themes. I hate repeating, but if I must reiterate, I'm a patient man. I would love to handle millions, billions even. A man can dream. A man, a woman can dream. I've seen some pretty capable women. I've seen some women get the ax. <laughs> a man can dream. Ideally though, I only want to take home a couple thousand, something I can live on. Cost of living plus a bonus, you feel me? Because my cost of living is gonna be changing. Ideally, I want to do this moving. <laughs> I can't be sitting still. And then a bonus to invest in myself, to go off and enrich myself further. If I have to um, attend conferences, I can pay my way in. If I have to pay my way out. <laughs> if I have to um, subscribe to certain services, uh, you know, I could do that as well. I know in the field that I'll be working in the future, I know the field that I will be working in in the future will require me to be members, be a member of certain uh, groups, if not a subscriber to certain services in order to um, research and navigate legalities effectively and yeah i'm speaking vaguely on purpose because it's helping me like i said it's helping me beat around the bush in an effective manner and at the same time i mean that's how you prune it <laughs> so fucking peep game peep game take notes motherfucker i'm going around the bush because that's how you prune it that's how you shape it if i went through it you wouldn't see me coming yeah <laughs> You would like, this is just be like, how, how does one know when they get shot in the head? You feel me? Like, how do you know when your life ends? You see, I don't know. That became graphic really quickly. I want to apologize, but go back 30 seconds ago and you'll find, how do you know? Which is why I beat around the bush. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying. I'm a predator of sorts, but you can call me your friend, you can call me your associate, so long as you have this podcast on, like I say, I'm, I'm influencing you. I mean, you have to know that much about social interaction. You are who you most closely associate with. And if you choose to fuck with the kid named Alex, the intern, that's, that's, who you'll that's what will hold on that's without this sounding dumb 
that's who will be rubbing off on you. That's who will be rubbing. That's who you will that's who you will most closely, not most closely even, that's who you'll come to resemble. You, you'll resemble who you associate with. You'll resemble who you associate with. Thus comes the phrase, guilty by association, right? Why the intern? Because the intern is not threatening. The intern is not intimidating at all, any intern. And I'm just... I'm using that as a guise right now because in the, the society, internships have become more and more uh, volunteer positions. Hence, me being the intern for what we have going on. I have one of the cleanest records out of all my associates. So I get to be the voice. I'm privileged and I'm honored of the fact. And... Uh, also not paid at the moment, but I don't mind because I'm still winning. Me doing this is helping me improve how I speak. It's helping me improve how I think. It's helping me improve how I interact with people in the future. Why? Because it'll help me grow confidence. It'll help me become ready. It'll help me be willing. This is all preparation. This is all preparation. But I'm taking it that step further. Letting you know now is me taking it that step further. I'm ready. I'm willing. And I'm doing it now. How can you tell? Because I'm not dying. Shit is do or die, baby. You can find us on Instagram. Our handle is associates. Incorporating associates. No, it's not. <laughs> Our handle is incorporating dot associates underscore IA. Again, that's incorporating dot associates underscore IA. Our website, if you ever are in the vicinity and want to slide through, is associates incorporating associates dot ORG. You can PayPal me directly. It's paypal.me slash corporate cowboys. You've got a cash app. And that's dollar sign corporate cowboys. Venmo even. That's Alex underscore Coco for corporate cowboys. And uh, Patreon. If you want to become a subscriber, Patreon is going to become uh, more active in the coming weeks. Right now it's January. It's the middle of January, quite literally, 2021. And my goal is by the end of next week even is to have all of the past episodes uploaded to Patreon. And when we get numbers starting to roll in, I hope... My subscribers, I hope the subscribers will be patient in, um, if they choose to become a higher tiered member and they're waiting on bonus content, I hope they can be patient enough to allow me to uh, upload some bonus content. There is no bonus content up right now. More so, it's going to come in the uh, way of requests, topic requests. If you need a corporate take, if you need a corporate take on a topic from a corporate cowboy, I can give you a, a professional opinion. So by all means, come through. You can write, you can comment. And um, if you need uh, advice, I don't want to get carried away because it's not it's not legal advice yet. I'm not I'm not advising anybody of anything. None of what I say here publicly 
should be construed none. None of what I say here publicly over the public airwaves should be construed as legal advice. They only reflect the opinions of corporates. <laughs> from a corporate cowboy. So again, do they even come from me? I've already told you, these are just ideas that I hear fly through the office, the various offices I've worked in with various professionals. I've had the opportunity to meet associates. I've been able to incorporate into my career. That's all it is. Are they really my ideas? There's nothing new under the sun. And I'm not afraid to admit that I'm always learning. I will always be a student, for lack of a better word, but I don't want to necessarily call myself a student of life. We are all students of lives. Students of lives. We are all students of life. And if you have to go out of your way to identify as such, fam, what what do you have? What do you have to teach me that you've learned? Because obviously, if you have the fucking title. But I'm just a corporate professional trying to make a way. Since I was young, I believe I said that I wanted to be an aspiring professional. I think I've mentioned that on the uh, I think I've mentioned that on the podcast before. Since I was young, pretty much my first resume, (laughs) my first resume said that I was an aspiring professional, aspiring professional. Will I ever reach the top? Will I ever reach the pinnacle? Learned behavior would dictate not. Why? Because learned behavior means there's just one, there's just one pattern of behavior. I mean, if your learned behavior teaches you to ascend, to advance, to continue learning, uh, then it, you're just in the behavior of learning. That isn't necessarily learned behavior. It's just what you do. But in order to not get bogged down, to not get slowed up, to not fall stagnant, to not, in order to not stagnate, there you go, in order to not stagnate, you must continue breaking your patterns of learned behavior. We all have them. They're hard to identify. But me telling you from the perspective of a predator, and yeah, I'll say it like that because I need motherfuckers to to grow aware. I'm not, I'm not even going to say wake up because you are awake. The fact that you're listening to this means that you're processing something. If you're falling asleep to this, sweet dreams. But I need folks to be aware. That's all. I need folks to be aware that other motherfuckers like myself are watching you work and picking up on the learned behavior that you are employing in order to to put in some work. That's what learned behavior is to me. It's an it's additional opportunity. It's all opportunity, right? But when there's learned behavior, there's blind spots. There are added gray areas. There are some areas that are grayer than others. That's all opportunity to work in. That's that's the best place to be working in. And learned behaviors provide that. Learned behaviors provide that in individuals as well as in organizations and scaling that up to institutions and governments. Learned behaviors are what causes one to change. Learned be- are literally causes because, I mean, if you have a learned behavior and then you have a change agent like a corporate cowboy, sneak in, crack a safe, put in some fucking work, you'll end up changing. You'll end up changing and then you'll just be on another path of learned behavior. Why? Because you caught one to the head or some shit. I don't know. 
and you think that by changing once it'll prevent it from happening but but you're not learning you're not learning it's necessarily learned it's in the past learned behavior if you aren't changing it if you aren't changing it you're 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 a sitting duck i'm wondering do ducks sit on water or do they just float they just float right necessarily because obviously they look like they're sitting on water i've seen them sit on land and they just look funny regardless but when they're on water and folks say a sitting duck do they mean that very duck on water or if you're a sitting duck regardless of you're on water or land are you prey are you vulnerable and to what because when you're a sitting duck in water you have um, alligators might be the most extreme sharks even more extreme uh, depending on how you on how you rank sharks and alligators but I mean you have some pretty pretty aggressive fish also something with a large mouth that might want to snack up a duck on land well that's where we're at so you can easily walk up on a duck or run up on a duck if they're kind of skittish. Mm. Ducks. Prey for most land animals, I'm thinking. Most land, not animals. Most land predators. Dogs, cats, snakes. learned behavior and the duck can't change that <laughs> the duck isn't conscious of its learned behavior it's hard it's hard to communicate with the duck and to make it aware of its learned behavior but you aren't a duck right you are not a duck i am not a duck i'm a human apex <laughs> uh, all of a sudden now no i could i could hear i can literally hear my brain wake the fuck up and become aware <laughs> i can hear my brain becoming aware of other apex predators putting it on edge juicing my adrenal glands god damn it feels good why because we aren't ducks man we aren't ducks, but as but as humans, we can become both predator and prey. We have that ability or that disability. <laughs> so when I say I pray, understand that there is a little bit of P-R-A-Y going on. Um, but as a corporate cowboy, uh, most everything we do is a P-R-A-Y-E-R. And then a lot of what we do is P-R-E-Y, unlearned behavior. That's our way in. That's our way in. That's how systems work. That's how procedures work. That's how policy, that's how rules, that's how guidelines work. It's all learned behavior. And when you learn them, then you know how to skirt them. You know how to break them. You know how to avoid them. I can't say evade because um, of, of legality. <clears throat> Al Capone, famous gangster from Chicago. He uh, was caught up on tax evasion charges. I think I said this one before. Maybe I, Maybe I didn't implicate Al Capone or I didn't uh, premise it using Al Capone Alphonse Capone but yeah he got fucking caught up on some tax evasion charges because while he was running fronts to appear legitimate in nature while he was running business fronts to appear legitimate in nature they were not legitimate because um, of their bookkeeping, of their accounting, of the lack 
for paying taxes. The guy just wasn't, uh, he just wasn't legally suited. He didn't have, I mean, he might have came up in a world of crime. I get it. And that learned behavior caused him to not continue learning uh, in a way where, again, folks can't be fixed, only improved. And this ultimately falls on the shoulders of the individual who wants to seek improvement. I mean, if you really think you need fixing, fucking fix yourself. Either, either you, either you do or you die. <laughs> literally, literally, because I can't fix. I either do or I kill. <laughs> but. He must have not had the proper channels to um, legitimize his enterprise. And again, I'm not going to say launder his money. I'm going to say to legitimize his enterprising efforts by way of um, avoiding taxation. And you can avoid it. That's a, it's a legal difference. A legal difference between tax avoidance and tax evasion that I'm not going to go in on this episode. Something that you can Google on your own if you are interested in ever becoming a Chicago-style mobster. <clears throat> but uh, again, that requires learning. So while I'll while I cannot admit to to aspiring to be a, to become a mobster like that. I'm a professional. <laughs> Learning, always improving, always innovating. God forbid I corrupt or become corrupted. But you know, God can't forbid me getting old and getting slow and my systems internally, my own corporal infrastructure from corrupting and breaking down before I get fucking clipped. And that's what I meant by my learned behavior. That's my learned behavior. My my end game is fucking dying. That's it. That's my end game. And what I do from here until then is be ready and willing. Be ready and willing day in, day out. I'm not preparing to die. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not preparing for it. I will cross that fucking bridge. Like I said, I will build my way, boat my way, paddle, swim, whatever needs to be done to get there. But I'll I'll cross it when I get there. I'll be ready and willing. I won't need mounds and and caches and stashes of reserve food, guns, ammo, gold and silver. Salt and pepper, all that. I won't need it. I won't need it. You make do with what you have. And in corporate, they teach you all that. Go ahead. Place a call today. Fire off an email today. Request more r- Request more resources in order to improve your outfit. In order to improve your station. In order to improve your department, your division your branch, your store, in order to improve your crew, in order to supply your crew. Go ahead, send it off. Obviously, you're going to have to, you're going to have to send it with a, what is it? A pretext of, of need. Like you need, like you have to be in need. You have to be begging. If it's not coming down voluntarily from the higher ups, they're not seeking improvement they're not seeking innovation. If it's not actively coming down, they are not seeking it. They are stuck in learned behavior. And you're stuck in a gray area. You're stuck in a land of opportunity. Poor you. <laughs> That's how I think of it. You ever been so deep in the shit? You can't help but think. Poor me, what do I do with nothing but a gun and a knife and endless
this time. Obviously, that's the last resort. I mean, if you made it this far, you don't need to resort to that shit first. There is um, the mouthpiece, like I said before. Because again, I mean, I want you to believe I'm a square. Intern, remember? That's my title, intern. You got your mouthpiece first. You have pen and paper. You have legal channels. Uh, public relations in order to maintain face. Keep that front of squareness. I'm not going to say upstanding because there are some pretty downstanding motherfuckers. Some downlying, downlying, upstanding folks. Some you might want to have as associates in your corner. Others um, you would not want to cross paths with. And yeah, they're still operating on levels of learned behavior. They might just have larger clicks, larger networks. Uh, they might be a little tougher to break to break into and not come out busting your own briefcase open. Been there. But it's all opportunity. It's all opportunity. You just have to be ready and willing and always sharpening your tools always keeping them sharp, always improving, always innovating your tools. And yeah, I'm speaking to myself. I always want to be doing this. I always want to be sharpening my social skill, the skill that I have with people, with individuals, my logic, my... Um, my tact, the logic and tact, it's going to revolve around a lot of that. Recurring themes. Learned behavior. <laughs> Funny.